Okay, welcome back. And then we want to quickly fix the Yesian issue in Kali Linux 2025.1. So we're going to do some tweaking in this very Kali, different from what we did in the 2024.2, which is the earlier video I made. Just a quick cross check here. If you do um, lsb underscore release dash a, it should show you what version of Kali you are using. So currently here, um, running 2025.1 version of this Kali Linux. There is quite another twist in this very Kali. When I did sudo apt update and apt upgrade, I got an error here. So you could see error one. So it's talking about a missing key uh let me scroll down a bit so you see what i couldn't do update update so actually the first step in this is to make sure that you update your kali um, if you're using 2025.1 you might have an issue trying to perform updates okay uh, so i was able to check online and um, got a fix for that okay so it says it's missing key i'm actually trying to scroll down a bit so this is the error message gpg error bottom line here is that i wasn't able to perform an update okay so there is a command that you need to use to fix this issue um, so i have to get this command sudo wget so we'll go to archive.cali.org and then keyring.gpg and this was piped to this directory so run this command in your kali and that should fix the um, update issue okay so the first step um, in this nyesia uh, making it getting it to work in kali linux 2025.1 is to perform an update so once you have fixed the update issue with your kali then you go ahead and um, yeah so you go ahead and uh, carry out the updates which i've already done this can take quite some time um <laughs> a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your internet connection so sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade and that was what i did and this guy is good to go all right that is step number one make sure that your kali is up to date so just going to do control l here to clear the screen now there is a problem where um we compare this to how this problem was fixed in the 2024 edition of kali uh, when you run this command git clone and then you pipe it to github.com and you try to download in your senior right so if uh, we run this command, okay. So this is the command you use to get Nyesia downloaded from github.com. So let's clone this into the optional directory. So I think cloning is fine. All right. So everything will be working fine until you get to the make command, make and make install. That's where you'll be having some issues. All right, so stay tuned in this video, We're going to fix that. All right, so the next command would be to install autoconfig and then libgtk, all right? So we do this command to install it. We say yes to all. So whatever question that is asked, we're going to say yes to it. So hopefully this wouldn't take much of our time and once the installation is done we are going to cd into the optional directory where the nca is installed and we're going to run a script autogen.sh uh, that should be the next thing to do after this installation is complete so it's looking like this installation is going to take quite some time and uh, we just have to hang on Till the installation is completed okay so the libgtk is done installing and now let's cd into the optional directory so we are in there and if we do ls just to see what we've got there 
you say we have a file known as autogen.sh. So we're going to go ahead to run that. So do dot four slash autogen dot sh. All right. So if you enter key. So let's wait for this to run. And the next thing we are going to do is to configure the GTK. Configure dash dash GTK. All right. So going to install the GTK. When you type the make, sometimes when you type in the make, you're not going to get the error. When, when you do make install, that's where you're going to have issues. So I just type make command. So let me see if I'm going to have the issue. A, a large number of those that have watched that video actually were able to fix this issue in their Kali. Well, quite a few number still complain that they are not able to resolve it. So let's see what the error message would be and then we'll go ahead and fix it okay there we go so you could see the error message here after i run this command make right <laughs> so this this is the issue here and if we look at this expected int but argument of type is void right so if I go ahead and do make install, it's still going to fail. Uh, let me just show you. So if I do make install, it's going to complain about admin C and admin H. Okay, those are the files that have the error. So we're going to go into a file known as admin.c and admin.h. We'll look at what is inside that file. And then we'll go ahead and delete, um, we'll actually edit the files, all right? So what I'm going to do here is to get inside this directory. So if if you, you can see where we are, we're inside the optional directory where we have ENC installed. Uh, let me just do Control L. So we're going to do LS. So we'll see what we've got inside that. We already installed this guy, which is autogen dot sh and there is a location where the admin.c and admin.h files are located which is in this src file so let's navigate into cd um, src all right so you could see we've just entered inside this location here and let's do ls to see what exactly is inside here so clear the screen once again Control l and I'm going to do ls space dash l. And uh, if we scroll up in this file, we're going to see where the error messages are coming from. So here we have a file known as admin.c and another file known as admin.h. So we actually are going to remove these two files and then we are going to modify them. So first off, we need to see what is inside this file, the admin.c. So we're going to read the content of that file. So we could do cat. Uh, let's cut admin.c first to see the content of that file. So you could see the admin.c file here. Uh, so you can actually copy the contents of this file uh, save it in a notepad and make some changes in it all right um, i've actually done that and i'll be attaching the edited version in the description of this video below so that you could actually just uh, bypass this editing section but i just wanted to show you what we've got inside admin.c so let's also read what is inside admin.h so we're going to cut it Admin.h also has got a whole lot of stuff there and we have to modify something inside that file. So we've seen what is causing the problem, the admin.c and the admin.h. All right. So what we're going to do now is to remove those two files. 
So once again, going to do Control L to clear the screen. I'm going to do Remove on uh, this time dash RF and we're removing admin the C. All right, that guy is done. Um, let's remove admin dot H. Okay, and um, those two files are gone now, right? So if I do ls again um ls dash l uh, it shows me all the files that we have inside the src all right and at the top of this list you're going to see that we no longer have two files which are admin.c and admin.h all right so that file have been copied over to a notepad and edited so the next step will be to copy these edited files. One, the admin.c, and second, the admin.h into the optional Nyesinya and SRC. Uh, uh, actually, we need to copy this file into this. Okay, so it was there before, but we'll have to take it out and make some changes to the file. And then we need to take it back because we deleted those two files. Now, what I have done is this. So if you open your, on your desktop, on your desktop of your Kali Linux, you're going to see file system, right? So let me close this. So you're going to see file system and within the file system, if I scroll down, you're going to see under devices here, file system. So if you cl click on this file system, you go to home directory, you go to Kali, and uh, actually I've gone to desktop and created a folder. And a folder in the desktop is named Nyesinya underscore code. And in there I have admin.c and admin.h. So I'll be making these two files available. And you can place it anywhere you like, right? But what you have to ensure is that these files have root privilege. So if I right click on admin.c and go to properties and go to permission, please make sure that the roots have read write access to this file. So just drop down and select read write, right? And give these two files the same permission. So admin.h properties and permission you see the root also have read write access to that file all right so just know the location where this file is so you could see mine is located in home directory and then kali and then desktop and then in your senior code because you have to navigate to that part okay so the edited um, admin.c and admin.h are what we have here and what we are going to do now is to copy them over to this location, the SRC within the senior directory and within our optional directory. All right. So we're going to use the CP command to copy. All right. So where your location of your admin.c and admin.h, uh, where you put them might be different from where I put mine. So I just showed you the navigation. Um, I put mine in my home directory by just going to file system and then under devices file system again and then go to home then Kali then desktop and then I created a folder called Nyesinya underscore code in my desktop and put those two files there and that actually is the part I have here so I'm going to copy whatever I have in this location and actually all the way from here and to this folder then inside the folder, I have a file known as admin.c. I'm going to take that file to my optional directory, yes, here, and then src. Uh, that file has been edited. And I'm going to copy another file, which is admin.h, into the same location. All right. So let's copy. All right. So we have taken those two files back because we deleted them before. So you could see here when I did ls, 
dash l that we don't we didn't have any file here known as admin.c and admin.h so now that we have copied the files back let's check again ls dash l and then scroll up a bit uh in here you're going to see that i have admin.c edited version and admin.h back into the src location all right so at this point we can now go um, a step back so we're going to go out of the src cd space dot dot just to go a step back okay to come back here we're going to now type the make command so the make command should be successful now so first off we'll do make all right so you could see that the make command has completed okay so it just completed and left the optional directory we didn't get any error now um, after running our make command when you run the make command it is going to display quite a whole lot of output you just have to hold on for all of this to finish running so you could see in here we just have to do cd space dot dot and then we'll run the make command and we could see that the make command has completed successfully okay so this is the bottom of the output of make command and thankfully we didn't get any errors you remember we have made changes to admin.c and admin.h and uploaded them back and let's now do make install And let's wait for the make install to complete and that didn't even take time <laughs> so let's now launch yesia so use the command yesia space dash g hopefully it launches all right uh this is good news uh this is the alpha version that is fine just click on ok and click on ok and i even like this interface more compared to the interface we have in the 2024 version of kali so we could go and launch attack and we could depending on the type of attack actually i'll be making a video to exploit some of these um, um, protocols here so i'll be making a video where i'll be exploiting the um, the dynamic trunking protocol right so using a cisco switch and i'll also be exploiting the vtp the vlan trunking protocol but you could see that yesinia is working fine in kali linux 2025.1 all right so go through this video and you should be able to fix the issues you have within your kali linux 2025.1 please i want as many people as possible to see this video and so if this video is beneficial to you please don't forget to comment on this video don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel doing those things will help others that are having similar challenges to also discover this video and use it to solve whatever issues they are having within their kali linux please like share and subscribe to the channel see you in my next video bye for now